Welcome back. Uber wants to change the way you get around. Today, the rideshare service unveiled a new air taxi. New tonight, CBS 13's Macy Jenkins joins us now to explain how exactly this would work. <laughs> it seems like a pretty cool idea, Tony and Christina. Today's, today, Uber's aviation partners unveiled a prototype for their air taxis, and the company says they could make the first flight in just two years. This will allow you to simply soar over traffic like we've all dreamt about as a child. It's the latest reveal from the rideshare company Uber, the future of their flying taxi service. They're called vertical takeoff and landing aircrafts, or VTOLs for short. It's closer than you think. Uber's Nikhil Goyle says the plan is to start Uber Air demo flights in 2020 and commercial trips by 2023. That's when you should be able to pull open your app and see Uber Pool, Uber X, Uber Air. VTOL aircrafts don't require a runway, so flights could take off from things that already exist, like a parking lot or the top of a mall or building. So you can imagine we'll tell you to take the elevator up to the skyport on your roof. You would take a flight downtown and then get into an Uber X to your final destination. So how how much is a trip going to cost? At the outset, this will certainly be a higher priced product. But Goyle says as more VTOL aircrafts become available, we'll be making more aircraft per year, per day, per hour that have ever been made before since World War II. And the more people use Uber Air, that'll allow us to get to close to Uber Blacklight prices. So for a 50 mile trip, $150 or so, Uber Air's ultimate goal, where you could drive your own car, but flying on Uber would actually be cheaper. Now, unlike other modes of transportation, Uber Air wouldn't require extensive construction. Uber says they just need to identify existing helipads and unused lands for their stops. My goodness, the wave of the future.